Mkopo in Lusaka now shares about the new law. As the death toll from the deadly corona epidemic nears 400, Zambia is heightening its fight and has since invoked new laws. Minister of Health Sylvia Masebo announces the invocation of a new law that enforces heightened measures to Cape Corilla, whose cumulative numbers so far stand at 9,000 from the time that its major breakout in the country in October 2023 was pronounced and about 7,000 so far have recovered with 362 deaths in the said period while about 900 people remain admitted. Under the Cabinet Indoors Statutory Instrument Number 5 of 2024, the Public Health Act, which enforces earlier laws, there is prohibition of funeral gatherings of more than five people if the person being buried died from Corella. The new law also bans entry of bedsiders into Corella treatment centers, leaving only health care workers attending to Corella patients. Sylvia Masebo, Zambia's health minister, announces. With the amendment of, uh, um, of the SI of 2024, we have introduced a clause that prohibits the entry of bedsiders into the Corella treatment centers. In addition, the stringent, the stringent measures regarding the set barrier of cholera suspects is also added. In addition, at religious gatherings that are expected to give public health messaging, we would expect adherence to what is outlined in the sector instrument, even as we move to protect ourselves and our people further. Authorized officers are now being mandated to enter any premise to search for a case of Corilla or to inquire if there is any case of Corilla at any time and the same officers may prohibit or restrict trading in or vending of food in unsanitary conditions. Also, closure of premises that do not comply with hygienic practices. It would be an offense for you to know somebody is sick, has diarrhea, is vomiting, and you keep them at home. Meanwhile, bars, nightclubs, and other social amenity places situated in waste heat areas especially in Lusaka, have been closed during this period. Resident Doctors Association of Zambia, President Maushim Pande, is calling on Zambians to observe the guidelines being given by the Ministry of Health and other authorities. It's not very good in terms of water sanitation, our drainages, our sewer systems, and just the general planning of the city is quite poor, especially in the very urban areas where we have people that... Uh, despite knowing that they're not supposed to have settlements that are so densely uh, put uh, next to each other. They know that they're not supposed to have, uh, for example, one feet latrine for, for 15 homes and, and things like that. Meanwhile, cooperating partners through the World Health Organization, WHO, and UNICEF are assisting Zambia to secure corona vaccines. And about 1.6 million doses so far have been secured and expected to be flagged off Monday to add to the ongoing measures being implemented to control the current corona outbreak in Zambia. Reporting for Channel Africa in Lusaka, Zambia, I'm Arthur Davis, Skopo. Africa Update with Lulu Kabu on Channel Africa. It is 12.42 Central African time and we're coming to you live from Johannesburg in South Africa. Do join us in conversation on our social media platforms. That's on X, Instagram, subscribe on YouTube at 